Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful sound visualization. Maybe you have seen an animation like this on Trap Nation or other channels on YouTube. At first, create a new composition and name it Audio Visualization. Set the composition width to 1920 pixels and the height to 1080 pixels. Set the duration of the composition to the same length as your audio length. If you don't know how long your audio is, right click on the file and click on Properties. Now click on Details and there you can see your audio length. Drag your background image in the composition. With pressing S on the keyboard you can scale down your image size. Go to the effect panel and search for the Gaussian blur effect. Set the blurriness to around 80. If you want to color grade your background image go to effect, color correction and choose Lumetri color. It's the same color correction tool like in Premiere Pro. Now create a new white solid and name it stars. Go to the effect panel and search for the CC start burst effect. Set the scatter to 750, set the speed to 0 0.15, the grid to 2 and the size to 75%. The next step is to import the song. Simply drag the audio file in your composition. Now create a new white solid and name it Curves. Go to the effect panel and search for the audio spectrum effect and drag it on the new solid. Set the start point to 0 and the end point to 960. Change the two colors of the curves in every color you want. In my example I choose white for both. Search in the effect panel for the polar coordinates effect and drag it on the curves layer. Set the type to rect to polar and change the interpolation to 100%. Go to the effect panel and search for the mirror effect. Change the reflection center to 960 and 540 pixels. Choose in the audio layer menu your audio file as source. Now you have to change some things in the audio spectrum settings. Change the end frequency to 200. The frequency bands to 2000. The audio duration to 150 the audio offset to minus 30 and the maximum height to around 2000. Now it's time for the logo. Create a new composition and name it logo. Set the width and height to 540 pixels and drag your logo in this composition. With pressing S on the keyboard you can scale down your logo till it fills the whole composition. Now drag this logo composition in your audio visualization composition. To create this pumping effect, right click your audio file and go to Keyframe Assistant and click on Convert Audio to Keyframes. Click on this automatically generated null object. You can delete the left and right channel. We only need the effect called both channels. Now click on your logo layer and press S on the keyboard to open the scale menu. While holding down the ALT key, click on the evolution stopwatch and link the logo scale with the lasso tool to the both channels effect. We have to add some little changes to this expression. Type in the first row after the last bracket multiplied 0.2 and after every temp in the second row plus 100. Copy this expression with Ctrl C and paste it with Ctrl V on the curves layer. 
For this open with S on the keyboard the scale menu of the curves layer and click while holding down the Alt key the evolution stopwatch. Now you can paste the expression. And yeah, that's the whole magic. I hope you enjoyed the video and we see us in the next. Bye!